Beautiful. And uh, with our hero out of the way, now let's tackle the big beast, the recipes layout, where we've got a two column layout with tags in one column and cards in the other. Now, since we'll reuse this layout in multiple pages, please take your time and don't rush with this one. Better to take more time right now than chase some silly spelling errors later. And from my part, I'll probably be even more annoying than usual by repeating the same things over and over. Since in here we have the nested layout, so it can get tricky. And therefore, I think it's important that I basically keep repeating the same things. And we'll also split this one into multiple videos, just so we can build everything step by step. The good news, once we're done with the recipes, it's pretty much smooth sailing from here on out. And effectively, we want to go back to the index HTML, of course, we're looking for the main, and you want to place this one in the main. So not outside of the main, not inside of the footer, you still want to place it in the main, and therefore, I'll add a bunch of comments here as well. Again, we will reuse this one. So it's much easier if you have clear comments where the next section starts, or the element, and hopefully you get the gist. So let's go here with end of header. And then we'll add another set of comments. And let's just go with a recipes container, container, and we'll do it over here as well. And let's just say end of end of a recipes container. And then we're going to go with section with the class of recipes container. So section recipes container. And inside of the container, we'll have two major things. We'll have a tags container. So I'm talking about this column over here. So these are going to be our tags. And then we'll have recipes cards. And of course, there's going to be more content. But for now, let's just set up those main elements. And again, We'll place a bunch of comments. Let's say tag container. And then we'll copy and paste. Of course, and here we'll say end of tag container. And as far as the tags, well, we'll just go with div with a class of tags container. So if you want, maybe let's add an S here as well. Just so it makes a little bit more sense. And then we have a recipes list. So these are going to be those cards. And in this case, I think I can just copy and paste. And we'll just change things around where I want to select all the tags here. And let's say recipes. And instead of container, this is going to be a list. So let's say here list. So that's going to be the structure for this container. So we have recipes container, then tags container, where we'll have the tags. And here, of course, we'll have the cards, the recipe cards. And now one by one, let's add more content. And as far as the recipes container, we're going to have a heading four with the text of recipes. And then we'll also have a div with a class of tags list. And essentially in here, I'm just going to have links. Now, since again, this is a HTML and CSS project, we'll simply navigate to the page to the tag template page, and we'll display these recipes. When you're talking about the dynamic project, the one that we set up in Gatsby, of course, in here, we navigate to the tag, of course, we display that one specific or multiple recipes that are associated with that tag. Keep in mind that in this case, of course, it's not going to be dynamic, we'll just have one page and we'll navigate there. And content will always be the same. But when it comes to dynamic project, of course, you click on a tag, and then you only display the recipes that are associated with that tag. And hopefully you can already see that when it comes to layout, it resembles a lot to what we have here in recipes list. So this is what I'm talking about, where we will reuse this layout and some parts of this layout quite heavily around the project. So let's make sure that we set up everything correctly. So back in the index HTML, I have tags container, I have heading four. And in here, I want to go with tags list. And essentially, these are just going to be links to the tag template page. Again, they're not going to be dynamic. All of them will point to the same page. And essentially, in there, we'll just have static content. And as far as the href, we want to go with tag template HTML. And here, let's just add some different values. So I'm going to go with beef. And I'll say one. So what I'm trying to say here is that there's one recipe that has the tag of beef. 
And of course, we'll just copy and paste and change these values around. So for breakfast, we'll go with two. Then for carrots, we'll go with three. Carrots will go with three. And in here, of course, we'll have the generic one, the food one, which is four. And again, not to be redundant, but in a normal project, of course, this is coming from the database. So this info is coming from database and it changes. It is dynamic. The more items you add, of course, you'll display different info in here. Just HTML and CSS project. So, of course, we're just hard coding. And when it comes to recipes list, we want to set up those cards. So we're done with tags container. It should look something like this. And then back in the recipes list, we want to set another comment and we'll go with single recipe. So this is going to be that card and we'll copy and paste. So we'll say end of single recipe. And in here, I want to go with link. Now, this link is going to go to single recipe page. And essentially, this page probably is going to be the last we set up because there's also quite a bit of work over there. But the idea is that this goes to the tag page, but then this one goes to that single recipe, whatever it is. Again, in our case, it's going to be hard coded. So if you take a look, it's all the time display the same info here. But in general, when you have dynamic project, of course, you display different recipe. Hopefully that is clear. And as far as the href, we'll go with single recipe HTML. And we'll right away add a class here of a recipe. And then inside of it, we want to go with image. And as far as the source, well, it's going to be in the assets. And we'll start with recipe one, then two. And I believe we'll have four. So you can already guess that. Of course, in the assets, we have a recipes folder. And in there, I have recipe one, recipe two, three, and four. So let's start with the first one. So again, we have here a image tag. Now let me close the sidebar. And we're going to be looking in the assets and then more specifically recipes. And then in there we have recipe one JPEG. Now, as far as the alternative, let's just say food. And then I also want to right away add classes. So we'll have the generic IMG class. Remember that was set in global styles as well as a recipe IMG. So that's the class I want to add. And then right after my image, and uh, let me close this one. And right after my image, let me go with heading five. And I'm going to go with some kind of text. And uh, let me just see. So I'm going to go with this one. And then I'm also going to go with prep time and cook time. So I'm going to set up a paragraph with a text of prep. And again, in this case, we're hard coding, of course. And we're going to go with 15 minutes, then a vertical bar. And of course, we'll go with cook. And this is going to be equal to five minutes. Let me save it. Let me take a look. That should be the look on a big page. Okay, looks about right. And now we simply want to copy and paste this one and just change the heading five. So I'll leave the paragraph exactly the same. But since I'm going to be changing the pictures, I'll also change the text over here. And if you want to see the final text, just navigate to complete project. And of course, this is what we're shooting for. So these are the titles of our recipes. So let me just take here where I have the starting comment and select everything, including the ending comment. And now, of course, we want to copy and paste three times. So one, two, and three. And now the only thing left to do is scroll up. Okay, that's our first recipe. And then we'll look for the next one. And we'll just change the image. So now, of course, this is going to be recipe number two. And as far as the text, these are going to be Greek ribs, ribs. And let me just save it so I can see that. Yep, that looks about right. Then we have vegetable soup, and that is going to be recipe number three. And of course, I'll change the text here as well. And the last one will be banana pancakes. And of course, we want to change the image as well. So in this case, we're looking for recipe number four. So if I take a look at the big screen, it should look something like this. Where of course, we have the recipes. So these are going to be our tags. And then we have those four recipe cards. 